Next, we're in Stewart, Florida for a plea hearing. 25-year-old Austin Harriff has been charged with two counts of murder, attempted murder, resisting arrest, and burglary. Six years earlier, after getting into an argument with his father, Harriff was walking home when he allegedly went into a psychotic rage and randomly attacked 53-year-old Michelle Mishkan and her husband, 59-year-old John Stevens III, outside their garage, killing them both. The couple's next door neighbor, Jeffrey Fisher, called police and tried to stop the assault. He was also stabbed, but survived his injuries. Police arrived to find Harriff biting John's face. A police canine and multiple officers, one using a taser, eventually subdued Harriff and took him into custody. Harriff was arrested and charged, but claimed he couldn't remember the attack. He was held in jail without bond as the state prepared for trial, and the defense entered a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity. The prosecution's own psychologist agreed with the defense's expert that during the attacks, Harriff was suffering an acute psychotic episode and was clinically insane. Today, six years after the incident, Harriff's in court to plead not guilty by reason of insanity. The terms of the plea were agreed to by both the defense and the state, but the victim's family say they were never consulted. But before Judge Sherwood Bauer officially signs off on the plea agreement, several family members of the victims come forward to offer impact statements, including Cindy Mishkan, Michelle's sister, who tries to speak directly to the defendant. You can't even look at me? Ma'am. Ma'am. Like oh, wow. OK. I started writing my victim impact statement a long time ago at a time when I was naive enough to think that there would actually be justice, at a minimum, a trial. Is it really so hard for you to understand that you are just a cold-blooded murderer, not a victim? You are disgusting. Next is another of Michelle's sisters, Jody Bruce. I'm frustrated with our criminal system, our court system. I'm frustrated with the state attorney's office. Can anyone imagine this? Can you guys imagine this? We've been waiting to talk to you for six years. Look at us when we speak. I didn't really know you could bur brutally, like brutally murder two people, attempt to murder another, and not even have a trial. That was news to me. I didn't know that. I hate you. I hate you all. I hate what you did. I really think you deserve to die, Austin. The last person to speak is Ivy Stevens, John's daughter from his first marriage. I think about how slow his death was, how long it actually took for him to die, how torturous, painful, and horrific it must have been to lay there slowly dying with you on top of him, stabbing and tearing into him with your teeth like the disgusting animal that you are. I've had to watch you be portrayed as the victim Someone that shouldn't be held accountable because you simply didn't know what you were doing. I call I hate you with every part of my being. You're a murderer, a monster, and a coward. I hope you suffer for the rest of your life because that's what you deserve. I hope you burn in hell. As the defendant sits quietly, Judge Bauer officially accepts the plea. The state and the defense stipulated and agree that the defendant was not legally sane at the time of the offense. Based upon those facts and conclusions of the law, it's ordered that the defendant is not guilty of the offenses charged in the November 8, 2016 indictment by reason of insanity. Then, Judge Bauer sentenced Harriff to treatment in the custody of the Florida Department of Children and Family Services. He can only be released on a court order. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to AE to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.